coming up, coming up, coming up, coming up, coming up, coming up. Bing boing bing bing boing bing bing boing bing boing bing bing boing bing bing boing 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 bing boing
screen works the same way as it does for those systems. But Nintendo 3DS comes with an extending stylus. Hello, little stylus. Hello, Mario. Okay, you got me there, but that is not a crime. What? Guess the drawing. Mommy, look! I drew a stick man in school today! Huh? That doesn't look like a stick man. Oh, I forgot the eyes! Let me draw it! Hmm, it just looks like the letters O, G, and C to me. No, no, look! You have to look at him sideways. He's holding a wand. Go. No, I'm a star! Please, I'm a star! Hello. Here is some background drawing tips. Blocking out shapes is a great way to start. I like using a low opacity flat brush. Following a rough sketch, I like to use Gradient Map to choose a general color palette. To make a scene look more lived in, you can use objects to break up long lines like a sword or some wanted posters. Try to avoid inflicting lines, as it can make the scene appear flat or unnatural. Also, lighter colors to show distance are splendid. Also, feel free to add something in the foreground, make the scene more immersive. And that is all. Good night. I'm hungry. So lick that coat. You smell like Grilled a... Grilled cheese. What? Grill me a cheese. I'm not grilling you a cheese. Uh... What? <laughs> Remember what I taught you, Quasimodo. You are deformed. I am deformed. And you are ugly. OC challenge, yay! If you're a daytime person, draw a boy, and if you're a nighttime person, draw a girl. The skin is based on your favorite color. The hair color is the same color as your phone case. The clothes and the color are styled after your favorite planet in the solar system. The eye color is based on what pet you have. If you have no pet, draw a blindfold. And now it's time for accessories! If you have Facebook, add a bag. If you have Instagram, add a bow. If you have Snapchat, add a scarf. If you have YouTube, add a flag. If you have Twitter, add your favorite animal. If you have Tumblr, add a flower crown. If you have Discord, add jewelry. If you have Pinterest, add a tattoo. If you have Amino, add your phone. If you have DeviantArts, add your favorite character from your favorite cartoon or anime. If you have Wattpad, add 
books or glasses, and if you have the Likey app, add a background. Send this to an artist to make them happy. a raccoon in the garage i have a challenge for every single artist whatever you're drawing right now post it i don't care if it's not finished i don't care if it's good i don't care if new oc challenge go to this website search random oc generator scroll down till you get to the first one type in your name and then hit diagnose then create an oc based on what it tells you and here's mine can't wait to see yours Today is day 8, the final day of the color wheel challenge, and the color is pink. Since the illustration has grown so much since the first color, I had to go back in and add some more characters. So here are the final characters added for today. Kirby, Draculaura, Barbie, Peppa Pig, Strawberry Shortcake, Pink Panther, A Companion Cube, Ponyo, Courage the Cowardly Dog, Bash the Stampede, Little Mai, Poe from Teletubbies, Red Angry Bird, a Puffle from Club Penguin, Puss from Puss in Boots, and Woodstock. Tomorrow, I'll post a full summary of everything that was drawn. Thanks for sticking with me. All right, bye. I am actually president of the company. You're Bombastic side eye. Criminal offensive side eye. This is the 10 second artist challenge. Ready? Go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Use the sound and show us what you've got.
あドゥンドゥンドゥン」ポンパドールの男子が好きです。大体こういう人はウケです。ワンワンワンワンワンワンドン。My teacher wondering why some parts of my school work is always missing. Me cutting out statues I want for myself. These are things that every artist hates. Send this to your artist friend to completely annoy them. First of all, when the tip of your pen like splits or frays and you get those wonky lines, when your hand slips and you're drawing and you color out of the lines, when your favorite color of ink is gone, when your pens get all jumbled up and they're not organized by color, when you try to peel off your tape and then you have this crooked line, and when you leave paint on your paintbrushes and they get all crusty and disgusting. Just every time they draw faces. I think it looks fine enough. Okay, let me just flip the canvas. Let your characters draw themselves. New art challenge. Start by choosing any inanimate object. Now draw that object as a character. Do it again, but change the features so it's a new character. Your goal is to create as many different characters as you can out of the same object. You can change the size, shape, face, and other things about it. The only thing that doesn't change is what the object is. This challenge will help build your creativity and character design skills. I'll Venmo 10 bucks to whoever can create the most characters out of one object. So duet me or use the sound if you went in on that. Have fun, dudes. Wow, I... I need a minute to think about this.
Hey man, has anyone seen my pliers or my tool belt or my square? Donde esta my shit? Testing my OCs for seeing face syndrome. Drawing Omori characters in my art style. Here are the best art supplies I found from TikTok. First up is this weird looking Dr. Seuss paint water tank. It's called the Paint Puck and it has all these little sections where you can put your paint, mix your paint. It has these little spiky things on the bottom to make cleaning your brushes easy. And it has an area where you can wipe off excess paint and let the brushes dry. Next up, we have these microscopic fine liners. Compared to a normal fine liner, these are so small and they're amazing for any kind of eyelashes, eyebrows, fur, or any fine details you want to add. And lastly is the best art supply on earth. This is called Cold Press Grounds. You paint it on any surface that you want and when it dries it basically turns the surface into one that can accept watercolor so you don't have to buy specialty paper. Happy drawing and let me know if you want part two. Too lazy, can't draw the back of the hair? Do this, draw the front hair first and then duplicate it. Flip it horizontally, put it on the other head. Erase the front hair area. And finally draw the back area of the hair. I couldn't draw faces. Realism was too hard, so I gave up. Please don't do that. There are lots of ways to draw realistic faces, but this one is my favorite. I'll show you. Start with an oval and draw lines down the center in each direction. Then break that horizontal line into five equal sections. The second and fourth sections are the eyes. Now take the width of one eye and mark that distance down from the center of the vertical line. This is the nose. Go the length of one eye down from the nose to mark the opening of the mouth. Draw ears that start at the eye line, add some shading, and you're done. Please like, follow, and share.
You've probably seen some of the plastic wrap canvas ideas going around, so here are two of my favorite methods. Here I'm doing the crackle technique, and all I'm doing is covering the entire canvas in acrylic paint mixed with half water. Squish it around, let it dry, and voila! You can make it a mountain scene, you can make it a moon, and the effect will look something like this. Next, we're making a stained glass effect. All you have to do is cover the plastic wrap in markers, spray it with some water, then lay it face down and peel it off. Now you have these really pretty blended colors that you could make a window design on. At the end, you can go in and add some extra color, and this is the final effect. Drawing hands is difficult in realism or any other style, but if you want an easy way to get started, I'll show you how. Start by drawing this pentagon three times. In the first pentagon, add a circle and an oval for the thumb, then more ovals here, here, and here, and a small curve for the index finger. Now draw this wavy line for the knuckles and erase your guidelines. Then add the thumbnail and shade the palm and second knuckles. On the second pentagon, draw a circle and two ovals for the thumb. Then draw three similar ovals for the ring, middle, and pinky fingers, and draw a straight index finger, which should be able to split into even thirds. Now erase your guidelines, draw two small curves, and shade the palm. Finally, for the third pentagon, draw the thumb the same way as the second example, but round off the thumb due to foreshortening. Now draw four ovals for the ends of the fingers. Feel free to pause if you're drawing along. Add the nails, connect the index and middle fingers to the palm, add some shading to the palm, and you're done. Please like, follow, and share. How to pretend like you're good at drawing. Get a black and white picture. Add a layer above it, and using a charcoal brush, Gently color over it like this. It can be any color you want, that's why I'm using green. Once you're done, it should look like that. Then what you're gonna wanna do is hide that layer, add a new layer, and select a pencil brush. Using the pencil brush, color over the fine details. Try and make sure that the lines you're drawing match the direction of the thing you're coloring over, like this. When you're done, it should look like this. Then what you're gonna wanna do is unhide your old layer and merge them together, and then bring them below the picture. On the picture layer, select Clipping Mask. Back on your layer, use the pencil brush to add more details. When you're adding details, make sure it looks like you're sketching, like this. Add a background. Add some more sketch lines. And you're done. Now you have a picture that looks like you drew it. So if I do not find somebody soon I'll blow up into smithereens and spew my tiny symphony All up and down a city street while trying to put my mind at ease Like finishing this melody, this feels like a necessity So this could be the death of me or maybe just a better me Now come in with the timpanies and take a shot at Hennessy I know I'm not that mentally, but you could be the remedy So let me play my violin for you Shot, motherfucker. This is a work of art. Damn, the thing's a work of art. Got you pressed against the wall.
treat me like white tees Don't give me the D Love on, love on I drew a show speed in his favorite outfit. Catch me if you can, Mr. Holmes. Rating art styles have had over the past two years. POV you're drawing a body, then you get to the hand. Let's make a fairy OC based off yourself. If you're born in these months, you're going to be evil. And if you're born in these months, you're going to be good. If your eyes are blue, you're going to give them dragonfly wings. If your eyes are brown or black, you're going to give them butterfly wings. If your eyes are green or gray, you're going to give them bee wings. And if you have hazel eyes or other colors, they're going to be moth wings. If you have any piercings, you're going to give your character pointy ears. If you have any tattoos, give them antlers. And if you have any freckles or moles, you're going to give them a crown or a hat. If you're the youngest child, you're going to give them a wand. If you're a middle child, you're going to have a sword. And if you're the oldest, you're going to have a lantern. If you have a cat or a dog, you can give them a pet of some sort. And if you have an exotic pet, you can give them a potion. And lastly, if you're short, give them a mushroom dress. If you're about average height, give them a flower dress. And if you're quite tall, give them a butterfly dress. Now let's see that lovely fairy. Why is it in a cage? Because. 
does it growled at me. tired of drawing the same eye over and over, learn these five eye types. The first one is going to be the hooded eye. This eye has a low brow bone, so you start by drawing the line and then you come in afterwards by adding the top edges and the bottom lid. Here's a real example. Next we have the wide eye, and from what I've seen this one is the most commonly drawn. You have your top curve, then a shallower curve at the bottom. The iris is almost complete except for the very top and bottom. Here's a reference of it. Next, we have the oval eye, and nah, you don't need it to work in the office. This guy is pretty much symmetrical on the top and the bottom. You'll also notice that as someone ages, the skin on their brow bone starts to push their eyelid down like this. And the reference for it is right here. And next, we have the thin lid eye. You can keep the thinness or erase the top part for a mono lid. Here's a reference. And I'm running out of time, but here's the almond eye. Hope this helped. to paint the Mona Lisa. Fresh canvas. Now I have to add the detail.
Out to all the Latinas, the goth ones, the cowboy boot wearing ones, the crazy ones. I don't care. I see a Latina bitch with white or black toes and I start acting like a damn dog. screen works the same way as it does for those systems, but Nintendo 3DS comes with an extending stylus. Hello, little stylus. Hello, Mario. people pt3 today's victim he keeps moving final look what would the music be without sounds young boss miss trainer Pitbull, let's show them how we get down. I bought it like a rock star, look like a movie star, play like an all star, f like a porn star, baby. I'm a superstar, always posted at the bar, always with a couple bras, maybe I'm just that, that raw dog. Check the resume, I hit something every day. Ask about me and the say that Chico run in my A. Young balls, that's fire. POV you've been sketching for hours. And now it's time to flip the canvas. Here's some things we all drew as kids. 
I know that you guys drew the sun in the corner and the sky only at the top. You also drew the McDonald's M birds and the spiky grass. The people were always super tall and their hands were round and spiky. Their outfits were always blue or red and the flowers were always taller than the people. Trees always had like a weird amount of detail, like they had a hole in the middle and a bunch of leaves. And you also drew the one thing you knew how to draw in perspective, and also for some reason weirdly detailed house. Let me know if you did any of these things or if I got anything wrong or missed something. And yes, I'm doing another drawing with the same concept. Here's how I paint lighter skin tones. Tomorrow I'll be doing one on darker skin tones. Start off with a base color. A desaturated color would really work well. Add a saturated version of that color to your cheeks. And also add it to the nose because the nose needs work too. And add some new colors like blue and stuff to your cheeks, your nose. It really works well and adds variety. Merge your sketch layer and your painting layer. That really helps like make your art feel more lively when you paint on the sketch layer. Um, just add some details and then after that, just add your highlighter. Don't use white as a highlighter. It will make everything more blown out. If you use a lighter like saturated green or like blue, it really helps and makes it really nice. Um, you know, add some color, like a saturated pink into the eyelashes, it really makes it like pop out. Get those bottom lashes in and like plump up those lips with a saturated pink. They always look nice. Do this, because I don't know why, but it makes my art look better. And that's it. All the days we were together All the time we were apart Of each other's lives Heart to heart So I had to lay right